Travis Cook here at an undisclosed training facility with Iron Man Ken Casa. And I had brought this camera crew out here today. I'd requested their presence so that the Iron Man could make uh, his final statement before the big championship match with Ricky Cruz this Saturday night, January the 19th. However, Casa is in intense training right now. He's winding down his training regiment ahead of Saturday night, and he is intense at this point. And when he saw the camera crew here and he saw the microphones and the lights and everything, uh, he said, Travis, I, I don't want to do an interview. I don't want to make a statement. I want to focus on training. I want to focus on what I have to do to defeat Ricky Cruz Saturday night. So he bowed out of making this statement today, and I acquiesced to his wishes. So it falls to me to make the final statement on behalf of the entire Travis Cook organization ahead of this Saturday night. If you will think back to August of 2012, that was the first time that Iron Man Ken Casa and Ricky Cruz met in a championship match. And if you review the films of that night, the videotape of that night, the events of that evening, you will see that Ken Casa dominated Ricky Cruz like no other athlete has dominated him in the SICW for the last two years. Casa had him going from pillar to post, dominated him through the whole match. And Ricky Cruz only was able to save his title by an egregious and obvious low blow. Something that should have been an automatic disqualification. Something very unbecoming of a champion who claims that he wants to uphold what's right. He claims that he represents the people. But yet he had to resort to a low blow. A low blow, by the way, that referee Jim Harris conveniently did not see. And that was the only only way that Cruz could hold onto the belt. And I will admit, I was at ringside that night, and I lost my gentlemanly temper. There's no question about it. I climbed into the ring. I took issue with the referee. And yes, I knocked out referee Jim Harris myself. I know that ordinarily you would not expect a manager to lose his temper like that, but I did so. But I felt I was justified. Nevertheless, from that point on, the East Carondelet Police Department overstepped their bounds. They handcuffed me. They threw me out of the building. Basically, what I'm telling you is the last time these two men met for a championship, all hell broke loose. And then fast forward to December, just about four or five weeks ago, a tag team match pitting on one side, the classic wrestling champion Ricky Cruz teaming up with Sean Vincent on the other side representing the Travis Cook organization, the Iron Man Ken Casa and Ron Powers. And I must say it was one of the most dominant performances in the history of the Travis Cook organization. Sean Vincent had his knee torn completely apart by Ron Powers to the point that Vincent needs surgery and we're never going to see him in a wrestling ring again. And then Ricky Cruz, the man who has not lost a match in this area for going on two years, the man who has not been pinned, not been forced to submit, not been beaten, found himself on the receiving end of the best damn drop kick in professional wrestling. And right there in the middle of the ring, Ricky Cruz, the man to whom the fans chant, Cruz can't lose, Cruz can't lose. Well, that night, right in the middle of the ring, Cruz had his shoulders on the canvas for the one, two, three, and indeed, Cruz did lose cleanly clean as a whistle, right in the center of the ring. Nobody was in the ropes. There was no outside interference. There was no allegations of brass knuckles or chains or chairs or foreign objects or any of the other allegations and lies that are usually thrown my way because Ken Casa beat you, Ricky Cruz, cleanly in the middle of the ring, and you know it. So here we are 72 hours away as I take this. Saturday night, January 19th, East Carondelet, Illinois. The championship rematch that has been five months in the making. The championship rematch that has been dodged by Ricky Cruz, dodged by the promoters, dodged by Herb Simmons, dodged by Larry Maddison, dodged by everybody, because it's obvious what will happen. The one man that can beat Ricky Cruz is Ken Casa, and he's proven it twice. Once in August when he dominated you, and once in December when he pinned you. And this time out, I don't care what the referee tries to do. I don't care if the police try to get involved again because I've got a master plan that's gonna guarantee the win. You see, Ricky Cruz, what you don't want to admit, but you know it deep down, what you know is that Ken Casa is a little bit faster than you, a little bit more agile than you, a little bit more flexible than you, a little bit smarter than you, and he has in his corner 
if I could so humbly say so, the most brilliant strategist in professional wrestling, Travis Cook. And you, Ricky Cruz, what do you have in your corner? You have nothing but a bunch of rednecks that, yeah, they'll cheer for you. But when you get down, when you get hurt, when you're sucking wind, when you're flat on your back, they can't offer you anything. Your back's against the wall, Ricky Cruz, and unlike December, this time, your precious championship is on the line. So, Cruz, you will lose. And Ken Casa will emerge triumphant, the Iron Man, the next classic wrestling champion. And you fast forward to May 10th and the 11th. May 10th, May 11th, the Argosy Bell Casino in Alton, Illinois, when Larry Madison is putting together this stellar Q&A session, this legends gathering of all the great St. Louis wrestling legends. And you'll see up on that up on that stage behind that table, you'll see Baron Von Raschke, you'll see Cowboy Bob Wharton, and Frank Cusamano from Channel 5 will be asking everybody questions. But Larry Madison, you're going to have to pull out one more chair on that stage, and you're going to have to have a seat for the newest St. Louis wrestling legend, the Iron Man, Ken Casa, the man that Saturday night, January the 19th, will become your classic wrestling champion.